In this presentation, we're going to import bank data into our Wave accounting software using a spreadsheet file, a CSV formatted file. Get ready because we're dropping in with Wave. We are in our Get Great Guitars dashboard. We're going to go on down to the accounting tab on the left hand side. Then we're going to go into the transactions. Next, we're going to go to upload a bank statement upload a bank statement middle option we have the formats that we can use up top we're going to be using here a csv file which is in essence an excel file you should have access to it it's going to basically look like this or it will look like this if you open this up it'll look like that in essence we're taking the bank statement information just looking at the transaction detail within it and uploading that information in this format Here's what the icon looks like. Look, notice it's a little bit different than the Excel format over here. It looks like this. We're looking for the bank, uh, bank data to upload for March, and it's got a CSV type of extension. So if you're working along with us, that's the file that you need. Back over to Wave. Now, there's two things that we have to upload here. We have the file that we need to upload, and then we have the account that we need to upload it to. We could add the account by selecting this plus button. I tend to like to do that by going to the chart of accounts, however. So I like to go down to the chart of accounts in order to add the new account. So let's take a look at that, going down to the chart of accounts on the left-hand side. Then we're in the assets accounts. I'm in the cash and bank. I'm going to add a new account. So I'm going to add a new account here into this section. We have the cash and bank account. That's going to be the account type that we want. The name, I'm just going to say is a checking account and i'm going to say call it chase we're going to imagine that it's from chase for this example we're going to have it in us dollars so you can choose uh, the currency that you would have that in and then the account id i'm just going to put in a mock number here no description so i'll keep that i'm going to go ahead and save that information so now under the cash uh, and bank, we've got the cash on hand and then the checking account. So, and notice you probably don't need this number over here. If, you, if you're dealing with the numbers, you could put that or not, but I'm gonna have the checking account. Then I'm gonna go back up to the transactions. Let's go back up to our transaction detail. We wanna go to the upload a bank statement, the middle option. So now when I look at my uh, payment account, we can then go to the checking the check account. So I'm gonna put it into the checking account. Then I'm going to choose the file, so then I'm going to go back to the statement file. We're going to be uploading the file, so we'll choose that. That should be browsing onto our desktop. This is the file we're looking for. It's the bank data uh, to upload for March. It's a .csv file, so I'm going to double-click on that, or you can select it and select Open down here, and that'll put it into, uh, into our system. So there we have it, the bank data. It's a .csv file. That's what we need. Now we're going to go ahead and select the Upload. And there we have it. Before we get into more detail, I just do want to point out that I did have kind of an issue with the date that I have reformatted. It'll be reformatted for you as we give the information. And that's being that I changed it from 2020 to 2019 because Wave apparently doesn't like us to import data that's into the future. So when I've done practice problems with other software, they've allowed me to basically put in practice data that's in the future using the bank feeds. Uh, but I can't do that apparently here, which is fine because most of the time you wouldn't be putting in dates of transactions that are in the future, but just be aware of that. So therefore, we're going to be working this in the year of 2019 as of recording. It's, two, it's early 2020, but I want to make sure we have enough time uh, before the current or present date of the recording to work through the problems. Therefore, we're going to be putting this information in and working the data as of 2019. That'll be reflected in your CSV file as well, so it should be uh, okay to upload. You shouldn't have any problems with it. Back to Wave. So it says select the date, uh, click the column containing the date. So it's currently on the correct date column. So we're just confirming the columns here. It's a little bit different kind of confirmation that you might see in other software like QuickBooks Online or uh, Zero. However, it's a, it looks good. It's a nice confirmation process. So we're gonna say that's the one for the date. You picked the right one. And then we're gonna go through to the amount. And it says confirm that, that the column we're selected contains uh, deposits and withdrawals. And we're going to say, yep, that's the one. Looks good. And so we're going to confirm the amounts. And then next, as you might suspect, we have the confirm that the column we've selected contains the best description for your transactions. We're going to say, yep, that's the description columns. All right. And we're going to say uh, select description. So we have that. And then it says confirm that the, the date, amount, and description columns uh, were selected are correct. So I think everything looks good. So we're going to go ahead and upload 
my statement. So we're going to hit the upload button and cross the old fingers and wish for and hope for the best. I think it's going to work here. So there we have it. It's pulled over our information. So here's what it looks like as it's been pulled over. So on the right side, it says uh, choose a category if we scroll on down. And uh, this is where we're at at this point in time.